You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Subscribe to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Nico Jishi. So I'm recording this at night. You guys know how that goes. I'm going to be a little bit quieter. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chen, you are up, and let's go. Yep, it is rather late here. It is 12:34 a.m. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Okay. <clears throat> no, okay. That was a joke, but the price of this book isn't funny. It will have to be crafty with spending money for the next few days. Yeah. <laughs> right into a, okay, right into a transition screen. Alrighty. I'm so worried about today's quiz. Well, usually a quiz is no big deal, but recently all my study plans have been severely messed up by, this, by some cats. Okay, maybe that's an excuse. It, it's not like the math was my strength to begin with. Even though I managed to review the whole topic, it doesn't change the fact that I didn't understand all of it. The cramming is never a substitute of studying, after all, but I never get through this quiz by complaining about it. I keep calm, walk into the class, and gently take my seat. It's kind of weird to be in class at this point without Senpai with me, but it's not his class, so obviously he can't get away with sitting in on the test. As soon as I get my paper, distracting thoughts, as soon as I get my paper, distracting thoughts are put to the side. I give it a go. Head on with all my might, even if I don't end up making sense of most of the questions. And as such, 40 minutes pass in the blink of in the blink of fury and determination. All that fury and determination I had just a while ago burnt, burnt out to a crisp, my mind, re mind resorting to absent-mindedly scribbling on the back of the exam paper. Yeah. Third. I look up to find Leopard staring at my quiz. Third? What third? Wait, does he mean the third answer? I circle C for the multiple choice I'm on. Hmm. I look up to see Leopard nod slightly. Is that really the answer? Just to make sure, I move my pencil next to the question and look at him. First, I circle A, and Leopard nods. The hell? He knows the answers? Maybe his math is pretty good. In class, he does always pay attention with, with that serious look of his, but I thought he was just trying to pick up on the Mandarin. Is he actually learning math? But how? Even if his Mandarin was good enough, he, you just can't walk into a college-level calculus and get an A. I mean, he, he's a spirit. I mean, even if it's just a general elective class, I can't get- I can't even get through this quiz. Maybe Mr. Leopard is really a genius in disguise? I mean, he's a spirit. He does not have the issues of a physical brain. It's a bit crazy to do so, but I follow the Leopard's instructions. He's throwing them at so- he's throwing them at me so fast I can barely keep up. This is math! No one can calculate this fast in their head. I mean, are these even the answers? I doubt he'd- I doubt he'd lie about it, though, and it's not like I've got any better options. So I let it be and complete the quiz with Leopard's help. And I sit there and wait for the end to come. <laughs> Gonna word that differently. <laughs> with class over, I turn in my quiz and whisper to Leopard while everyone packs up their stuff. So, those answers, how did you know them? I watch. Watch? Watch what? <laughs> he walks to a desk nearby, then points to the seat. He was just reading out other people's answers? So does that mean I just copied on my quiz? That's cheating. Well, I was already cheating when I got his help on the quiz to begin with. It doesn't matter whether he got the answers from. Ah, all I wanted to know was how he got the answers. I didn't want to cheat. Ugh, why, didn't Ti why didn't Guardian Tiger stop him? I see Tiger sitting in the back row of the classroom, seemingly delighted by the book he's reading. Yeah, this is my fault. I start to pack up my stuff and get ready to leave. There's nothing I can do anyway, and at least I completed the first half by myself. Hopefully don't catch me for cheating, otherwise I'll be screwed. Alright, I just have to study hard from now on. I won't let this happen again, but should I explain it to Leopard? I wonder if I wonder if he knows what an exam is. Well, thank you for your help. Hmm. But um, the way you did that wasn't good. It's called cheating, you know. Hmm? I mean, you shouldn't copy other people's answers. That's against the rules and not fair to others, so don't do that. Unfair. Well, see, it's unfair because I'm the only one who can see other people's answers. Understand now? Yes. So don't do that again. I'm sorry I didn't realize those were other people's answers and I just followed you. So next time, please don't tell me other people's answers. But thank you anyway. I understood that he just wanted to help, but even with the best intentions, he made a mistake. Even if I pass this quiz, that's all I get out of it. I won't pass the final exam without actual study anyway. I mean, what if he helped me during the final as well? 
I'm really worried about the selective knocking down my GPA. So if I can just cheat with Leopard's help... No! I can't think about just cheating my way through this. I absolutely can't do that. I hesitate over it for a while, but with my stuff packed up, I leave the classroom. That night, we were at a club practice. While other, our club leader gives a speech, I noticed, I noticed Jiao, Jiao coming over to me. Hey, Liao, I, so remember you asked me if I knew any Rukai gods that looked like clouded leopards? Yeah, how'd it go? You get something? I look towards the god in question. He's listening carefully with his stern expression. Yeah, my mom had some ideas. So, while there aren't any clouded leopard gods, the Rukai do actually have a legend about a clouded leopard. A legend about a clouded leopard, huh? What kind of legend? Well, a long time ago, my ancestors were traveling around, traveling through Wutai. Just as they were about to leave, a clouded leopard in the tribe refused to go any further. It made them stop and look. A clouded leopard led them to a treasured place, perfect for them to live and prosper. That's where they settled and formed the current Wutai tribe we have today. It's quite the tale. You can never know if that's really what happened. I'd say the way our ancestors migrated back then was a little bit strange. But tales are tales. Maybe the clouded leopard you were thinking of is the one from that legend after all. Do you think he became a god after that? There's no way to be sure. Our tribe doesn't worship clouded leopards, but they do pay respect to them. Maybe there's a clouded leopard god out there after all. By the way, what made you so interested in all this? Hey, um, I, uh, I was probably just wrong about it to begin with. Well, I just heard something about clouded leopards being respected by the Rukai, and I wondered if any of them were gods. They're important creatures after all, right? Of course, as I said, the clouded leopards are respected by the Rukai. We would never harm them, but there's no reason to say they're all gods. Well, maybe the one who led the tribe, the tribe to Wutai might be, but not the entire species. Okay, so that particular clouded leopard from that tale might be, might really be a god, huh? Who knows? Um, Mum didn't really mention it. I don't think an animal could just become a god, anyways. Our culture only gods existed since before the universe was created. Now that I think about it, that clouded leopard would never the clouded leopard never told me he was a god. Maybe there's just a difference name a different name for it. Regardless, there's definitely a basis for that clouded leopard to have come from the Rukai tribe. Maybe he might even be the one from Jiao's legend. Right, I've got another question. Have you ever heard about uh, Ali Adi? Oh. Adrige Adrigami. Adrigami. Gani. Oh yeah, Adrigin yeah. I let out his noise. Leopard had suddenly spoke out aloud next to me. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Uh, yeah, kinda. Anyway, you ever heard about a god with the name Adri... Ad Adri... Dringani? Adri... Adri Dringani? Adri Dringani? I'd have to ask. It'd be great if you could. Thank you for all your help. It's no problem, really. Piece of cake. And now that that's over, I pretend to tell Jiao that I need the bath, that I need to the, that I need to the bathroom. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom so I can get a chance to talk to the leopard alone. So, uh, leopard, Jiao said he didn't know about any clouded leopard gods in the Rukai. You know anything about that? I've been putting this off for a while, but I decided to just ask him out straight out. He probably knew I was suspicious of him anyway, but best just to ask. I am no god. I am spirit. Spirit? I am spirit. Not god. Hmm. So if you're not a god, Zhao was right then? Yes. Okay, so are you the leopard who, read, who led the Rukai to Wutai? Yes. No. Yes and no? What does that mean? Not only Wutai. Kochapangani. Konga Devani. Konga Devangi. Are those all tribes you helped? Hmm. They lead the path. Those people live better. So he's been leading the path for the Rukai people to find better places to live for a long time now, huh? I guess he's done a lot for the Rukai people. I understand now. I'm so sorry for suspecting you. It's fine. Heh. <laughs> sorry about that. So I guess Mr. Leopard is a good god. No good spirit? He may not say much, and he's always got that distant look on his face. But from now on, he'll get a different face from me, one of respect. And that Adri Adrian Dringani he's who sent him here, hopefully this all turns out good in the end. Afterwards, I go back to my seat, wave to Senpai, and focus on our club leader's choreography tutorials for the rest of the meeting. Cutie. I was sitting at my desk just as my mobile started to ring. It's a call from back home. Honestly, I don't want to pick it up, but it's been ages since I've talked to my family for, 
talk to anyone from my family. After a moment of hesitation, I pick up the phone. Uh, hello? Meow, my boy. Your dad's been missing you. How have you been? Oh. Okay, that's his dad saying that. I thought it was his mom saying your dad. Your dad misses you. Yeah, dad, I'm, I've been fine. I can't really say I'm... You know, you silly deal with these three cats is fine, but should I even talk about that to dad? I really want to find out if my family does have a history of having the ability to see guardian tigers and other spirits. But if dad finds out that I can do that, wouldn't he just force me to go back home? My elder brother handles all the temple work these days. He takes it super seriously. It'd be stupid to put myself in competition to him anyway. Something wrong, Liao. You seem quiet. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's just... Uh, might as well ask. Uh, yeah, let's let's ask, but let's, like, save it right here. Here we go. It's, uh, super important or not. Probably is. Dad, was our family ever able to see the Guardian Tigers? I hesitate a little bit, but I figure that asking him directly is the best option. See the Guardian Tigers? I mean, um, can we see Guardian Tigers during divination? Has anyone in our family been able to see them before? Seeing Guardian Tigers during divination? What are you talking about? Divination is divination. How can... How could someone see the Guardian Tigers? Uh, so the answer is no? It's a no. Why are you so interested in this all of a sudden? Have people been telling you things? Oh, no, I'm just curious. I mean, we've been a Jitong family for a long time. Maybe there's something more to the Guardian Tigers. Oh, well, you did remind me of something, though. When I was a boy, my grandfather, well, your great-grandfather, always said that he was watched upon by the Guardian Tigers. If it were true, he must have lived well, honest, and kind. I don't believe it anyway. Well, that isn't to say that I don't believe in Guardian Tigers, though. I mean, surely the Guardian Tigers are busy. I highly doubt they would spend their time watching on us mortals. Your great-grandfather used to, used to use stories like that to keep kids in line anyway. Modern people aren't as dogmatic as he was. Why don't you tell that to anyone else? Otherwise, people might start thinking about us as a bunch of swindlers. It may be Tatong of the Guardian Tigers, but that doesn't mean we can actually talk with them. Anyway, don't blab about this to people, understood? Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I, I got it. That's a good boy. And how's school? You keeping up your grades? I mean, I cheated on a quiz just a few days ago, but I don't think I should tell Dad that. It's been going alright. Life has been pretty good here, and Dance Club has been going well. Glad to hear it. Just don't spend all your, all your life in the club. Focus on study, okay? Mm-hmm. So, when will you be down home next? Eh, I'm not sure when I would when I would have some time. It's almost Xing Ming. You have a break then, right? You should come back if you could if you, you should come back if you do. Okay, I'll see if I can. Alright, remember to come home sometime and make sure to get enough sleep. Yeah, I'll make sure to sleep early tonight. That's good. Bye for now, son. Bye, Dad. I let it aside into the other way's silent room. Are you alright, Liao? Did something happen to worry you? My dad said no one in my family has been able to see Guardian Tigers. Tiger nods, seemingly unsurprised by this. It has been too long since the last one. Hence why I said your ability is precious. But, can I really see you? This could all just be my... They don't exist. Why can't I see them in front of me? Just as soon as I start to get used to having them around, Dad's got me doubting myself all over again. Of course you can. Who else would be talking to you right now? There's nothing to be worried about. Seeing is believing. I cannot blame your dad or your grandfather. They cannot see us. Hmm. Leo, do you really believe I am just some illusion of yours? Hmm, uh, well, a little bit. Honestly, I've been worried about it. Still, I didn't expect him to address it outright. It is pointless to worry. Proving that we are not illusions is simple. How so? I simply have to do something you cannot. For example, taking a book from your shelf and reading you a page. Surely you could, surely you could not remember it exactly. Still, I've read all those already. There's a chance I could have just remembered the passage. Isn't there a better way you could prove your existence? Excellent point. There are several more options. How about you just open a website you've never seen before? You can close your eyes and I can read it to you. Simple. I'm certain that will work. If that does not convince you, I can do much more. He's right, Liao. What's there for you to worry about? Senpai. Well, I didn't catch everything you said on the phone, but it, it sounded curious serious. You okay, Liao? You catch a cold? Did you catch a cold? Don't tell me it's so bad that you're seeing things. No, I don't have a cold. People just... People don't just start seeing things from the colds. So you hit your head? Well, Liao might have brain damage. You're the one who hit their head. Come on, senpai. Stop messing with me. 
Liao, I don't understand why you're worrying so much. You can see us. That's the truth. Even if Lukalu, even if Lukalu and the old man were just illusion, were your illusions. I'm a real person that everyone can see, and I'm standing right here. Senpai, you're human to everyone else, not a leopard cat. Come on, are you really this dense? Do you actually believe Yan Shi Yan Shu Shi Yan Shu Shi would just Yan Shu Shi would just move in with you like this? You think he'd tell you stories about rejuvenating a temple in Miali? Miali. 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 Mali. I'd be impressed if you made all this up. Well, you're right. Honestly, I don't care if your family heritage is the only reason you can see me. All that matters is that you can see me now, and that's that. Hmm, I got it. It's alright, Liao. Just as I said, you're thinking too much about it. Are you feeling better now? I can't just change how I feel about it that quickly, but I do feel a bit better. I should probably just stop stressing myself over it. Still, it's unreal to think I can just see gods now. Now, I made you to see. I know, it is real. I didn't expect Leopard to be worried about me at it as well. Thanks, I'm alright. I, I it was just a thought, nothing more. It's pretty obvious you were stressing over this. I was worried that I might end up in an asylum. I'm pretty sure you mean psychologist, and even then, no way. Okay, okay. Come on, you don't need to treat me like an idiot. Liao was not idiot. Heh, <laughs> alright, thanks. Right, Liao isn't an idiot. Why do I feel like you're the... Why do I feel that you're the one making me out to be an idiot, senpai? Must be those illusions of yours. Heh, <laughs> get off. I pretend to be angry, pouting as I look away from them. However, regardless of their teasing, I know they care about me. <sighs> Just knowing that kind of makes me feel warm inside. Them cuties. Cutie butts. So it's Friday already, huh? Nope. Liao! What? What is it? What's wrong? Senpai jumped out of nowhere with intense determination, almost shocking the living daylights out of me. Liao, let's go to the hot springs this weekend. Eh, hot springs. Mm-hmm. Hasn't it been super cold recently? It's the perfect time to enjoy a nice warm hot spring. Soaking your yourself in hot water, munching on some snacks, it's the best thing in winter. Now that you mention it, I've never been to a hot spring before. By the way, isn't that expensive? Eh, it's not cheap, but it only costs a lot, like, only, but it only, it's only the cost of, like, one or two dinners out at most. It, I totally do, I totally do it once in a month, like, once in a month, wouldn't you agree? The price of one or two dinners, I already spent heaps on books and things this month. I don't think I've got any more money to squeeze out of my budget. Don't you want to go? Well, really, no, you only see it in anime, and wouldn't we be bathing with a bunch of strangers? And then a pretty girl shows up all of a sudden. Stop talking about anime plots. Besides, mixed gender hot springs are super rare these days. Actually, they're usually separated by gender. Though you can get public springs which have a bunch of strangers together. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. I'm probably gonna go to bed. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!